Hi, kitty cats. I am Amethysta, and about a month ago, I think it was, I saw a video by Claire from Seattle Voice Labs. Now, to be clear, I did not go to Seattle Voice Labs. This is not an endorsement, although I do intend to link the original video Claire made in the notes to this video. So I know very little about the quality of their instruction, but I'm going to say I do like Claire. Um, she has a certain no-nonsense kind of style about her that really shows. And about a month ago, she filmed this video about Sorona Ryan. Now, if you're unaware, Sorona Ryan is a character in the video game Hogwarts Legacy. She is pretty obviously transgender. And unless you've lived under a rock for about 20 years, from the name Hogwarts, you're gonna know Hogwarts Legacy is set in J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World. If you are transgender, I think I'd understand completely if you haven't played this game. And I don't know if Claire did. I'm kind of guessing not. Because J.K. Rowling is perhaps not our biggest fan of our, not the biggest fan of our community, right? I'm kind of trying to be nice here. But purely in the interest of science, I did play Hogwarts Legacy. I had a friend um, who told me, you know, the gameplay was really good and I thought, we'll give it a shot. And to be totally honest, it is pretty good. And furthermore, it is not about Harry Potter and it is not, fortunately, about Rowling's legacy with the transgender community. I think that there are a few things in the game with which Rowling might disagree. There is a lesbian couple, or at least it's hinted at very strongly that there is a lesbian couple, and then there is Sorona Ryan. What I wanted to talk about, though, was how Sorona's character is presented within the game, because I think it was kind of weird. When you first meet Sorona, the first thing you notice, first thing I noticed, is that the character model, I think, is not the same as the standard female character model. She's a bit blocky. You know, she's got a hint of, um, you know, of breasts, but, you know, she seems a bit blocky. Now, I get this is supposed to be the early 1800s. I mean, you know, there aren't exactly bullet bras and booty shorts, but still. Sorona appears a bit less feminine than the other character models. Now, in the original video, Claire brings up Sorona's voice because, you know, Claire trains people in using their voices. What Claire brings up, first of all, are characteristics of a feminine voice. Brightness, um, a certain flow, certain cadence, higher pitch, and so on. But Sorona Ryan's voice is kind of, at best, androgynous. Like, to me, it sounds pretty masculine, but I think they shoot for, to, for her to sound more um, androgynous than anything. So it turns out, as Claire discovered, the voice actress, the actress who voices Serona Ryan, is transgender. In fact, her name is Rebecca Root. Claire found that Rebecca is more than capable of performing with a feminine voice. So what we hear is not necessarily Rebecca's typical voice. And I'm curious why Sorona has to be portrayed this way. Now, believe me, the ability to get any kind of representation of transgender characters is, in video games is great. All right, I'm glad that, that the developers, who I believe is Port Key Games, I'm glad they wrote her into the story. Because I'm sure, like, right now, J.K. Rowling is just rolling over in her grave. Oh, Holy shit, there's a transgender character in the wizarding world. I mean, I guess I just realized Rowling is not in her grave. I think there are a couple of people who wanted to put her there, but I'll move on. Why is Serona played with such a heavy-handed approach? Why show transgender people as very obviously transgender? Now I get it again. 1800s, okay? Early 1800s. Likely they didn't have hormone therapy available. Very likely she couldn't get bottom surgery. But I mean, this is the wizarding world. You got people turning into cats and flying on brooms. I gotta believe somebody is capable of zapping up a vagina. You know, zapping up feminine body fat distribution. 
Because what making Serona obviously transgender does is show that transgender women are transgender women. It would have been so much more healing for our community to see a transgender woman in the wizarding world who is just a woman. Because we all know transgender women are women. So if you like this video, and I hope you did, maybe consider liking, maybe consider subscribing, maybe consider going to my Substack publication, which is also linked in the show notes, and subscribing there. Until then, I guess Wingardium Leviosa or something like that? Bye.